In this video, I will show you how to conditional format based on a date field and one amazing trick to make it dynamic. Hi, this is Bharat here from Technisha and you can find tutorials on productivity tools to make your life easier. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Conditional formatting is a tool that allows you to apply formats to a cell or range of cells and have that formatting change depending on the value of the cell or the value of the formula. In this video, I will show you how to use conditional formatting based on a date. So let's dive right in. Here is a table showing birthdays of different people. Let's say that you wanted to highlight the birthdays that are coming up or have just gone by. You can easily do that using conditional formatting. For that, let me first put a helper cell. I'm just going to call it date and let's use today's date to begin with. Let's say that I wanted to highlight all the birthdays which are today. To do that, let me just select the complete data, go to conditional formatting, new rule, select classic and formula and out here I can put the formula as the cell C3. Again, I'm just going to remove the dollar symbol from 3 as I want to highlight both the name and the birthday. Should be equal to the date which we've entered here, which is today in this case. And I'm just going to fill it with green and say OK. You see there's no data which is being highlighted because no date matches today. Let's say that I'm just going to change this day to 28.620 and there you get Matty whose birthday falls on that day. Now let's say you wanted to highlight the birthdays which are coming up within the week. That is the birthday should be greater than the date which is entered here but should be less than 7 days from today. So to do that we again can use conditional formatting. Let me select the data go to conditional formatting, new rule, classic, formula and out here I need to do a two condition formula. So for that it's going to be equal to and since both the conditions need to be met the date which is cell C3 and I'm going to remove the dollar symbol because I wanted to highlight the names too should be greater than the date which is entered here also, the cell C3 again, remove the dollar symbol, should be less than the date which we are entering in the cell F2 plus 7, which means that the date lies between the date entered here in F2 and 7 days from that date. And let's close the formula and let me color it yellow. Say OK. There. So both Art and Lena have birthdays which are coming up within the week. Let's say we also wanted to highlight birthdays which have just gone by. Let's say three days from the date we selected here. So that can be easily done. Again select your data, conditional formatting, new rule, classic, use a formula, Again, this is a two-part formula, so we need to use a condition and where the birthday here should be greater than the data we've entered here, minus 3. Also, the birthday should be less than the data we've entered here. So let's remove the dollar symbols again from the cell C3 only for the three component to ensure that even the name is going to be highlighted. And the condition here is that the cell C3, the date needs to be less than the date we've entered here in cell F2, but greater than F2 minus 4 because we need three days. So if it's 28, we want 27. 26 and 25 and let's say okay that so 
based on the date here we see that Graciela's birthday has just gone by today is Matty's birthday and Art and Lena's birthday is within the next week you can make this really dynamic by using the today formula in Excel so if in cell F2 I put in the formula today this cell is going to constantly change every day and pick up that day's date and hence this conditional formatting is going to be very dynamic so let's say by next month when you come to 21st June so I'm just going to put 21st June because that is what the cell would be on that day you automatically would get an updated list of birthdays Conditional formatting can be a powerful tool for quick data analysis and I hope that this tutorial will help you achieve that. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Till next time, ciao.